When you're dieting, you like to think you're watching everything you eat, but what looks this, like the same meal can hide a huge difference in calories. All it takes is a few small changes and you can cut your calories in half without even noticing. How, you ask? Well, <laughs> Sunrise Nutritionist Susie Burrell is here to tell us. How are you? Good, Hi. Girl, good. Let's start with breakfast this end. What have you got? What have you done here? Well, these both look like muesli bowls. And the simple change, all I've done is in the first one, I've used a lot more granola, and the granola's got nuts and seeds in it, so more calories. I've used fruit yogurt, which of course has more sugar. I've used a lot more nuts and not as much heavier fruit, so things like berries. Now, that bowl has got double the calories of a bowl that has got about half a cup of a granola that doesn't have any fruit in it, so a plain granola, plain yoghurt, a Greek style yoghurt, a few less almonds and then some berries. And we've almost halved the calories, just 440 calories for that bowl and still a delicious breakfast bowl. Yeah. So it's just adjusting those core ingredients. And this is the thing when you eat out, often we're getting the little extras that you don't realise and this is why the foods have so many more calories. So it's very easy to slash your calories and eat yeah. the same kinds of foods so you don't feel like you're dieting. Okay, talk us through the salad. A good old tuna salad. Now everyone thinks it's very healthy, but when you buy it away from the home or you're using like, we have a whole avocado, lashings of olive oil, you're using tuna in olive oil, lots of fish not a lot of leaves and we've got a brown rice base which is pretty healthy but also packed full of carbs compared to something with tuna in in water just half a cup of rice just a quarter of an avocado and a lot less dressing and again we've halved those calories and it's still a healthy tuna salad so it's just adjusting the amounts reducing the amounts of added fats from mayo avocado oil and still delicious, but half the calories. It's still filling, isn't it? Mm. Okay, you've done a few dinner options Dinner meals. Here. This now, is the first one. Australians are notorious for having protein sizes that are way too big. So a <laughs> serve of salmon that we're often getting in restaurants or at home are two or 300 grams. That's almost double what we need. We load it up with things like quinoa and rice. That's a whole cup. And just a little bit of salad on the side, a few leaves or a little bit of greens. In this variety, we've halved the size of salmon, so it is that palm size portion. We've halved the rice, so it's just a serve of about half a cup and then we've loaded up the veggies and again you can see it's got 300 fewer calories in that meal particularly important at night when we're about to go to bed you're still having salmon and veggies you won't notice the difference mm. but you'll feel lighter more energized in the morning and more likely to be in control of your calories mm -hmm. okay the good old steak and steak veggies. now this is a typical australian plate isn't it a big whack of steak and that's My small compared to, the, that. <laughs> compared to the pubs you know the ones we get in the pubs can be five six hundred grams lashings of mashed potato with butter or whatever else you like to add into it and just a token of green veggies if we compare that to again the recommended portion of steak which is a little bit, bit bigger than the size of your palm for dinner a whole jacket potato so you're getting the beautiful fiber and then a lot more veggies that's a 400 calorie meal 370 that's a weight loss meal mm. so you can still have potato you can still have steak just smaller portions and load up your veggies so you're not hungry mm. um, can I just ask you about olive oil because I swamp mm. everything in olive oil how bad I thought it was good well nutritionally <laughs> the evidence is that a couple of tablespoons of olive oil per day is actually very good for the heart mm. it's not linked to an increased risk of weight gain so it's definitely the preferred fat when you're putting it on your vegetables or your potatoes for cooking a couple of tablespoons no problem mm. okay. okay and portion this is where I fall down sometimes mm. portion control yes. which is what basically what mm. you're showing here because these yeah. are all good foods it's mm. just about very healthy, how absolutely. you trick them mm. I read once that your stomach is the size of two fists, so you do not need to eat anything bigger than that on your plate. Absolutely, and I think the other thing to remember is that when you're looking at your portions, you're looking at about a palm size of protein at lunchtime and a, roughly a hand for dinner. And then when you're looking at your carbohydrates, like your rice, stick to about half a cup. Mm. We load okay. up on the rice and the pasta and the potato at the expense of the other veggies. If you focus your meals, half a plate of salad or vegetables, straight away your portions will be controlled. Mm. That's where we go wrong. We skip <laughs> the salad and veg and then we go too heavy on the protein and carbs. Mm. So when we flip it over, load up the vegetables and slightly smaller on the protein and keep the carbs controlled, we're in weight control without even realising it. And yeah. if you've got teenage boys, this all goes out the window. Load up the carbs, <laughs> yeah. load up the protein and if you can get a couple of veggies into them, yes. you're doing well. And they're usually running it off anyway. I so know. Exactly. exactly. They've got the good metabolism. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh.